Tina Mokuau's studio. Hi. <laughs> Tell us, Tina, who are you? Um, well, I am many things. I am a mom, a wife, an artist, um, a caregiver, uh, a makeup artist, uh, you name it, you know. A lot of women nowadays take on a lot of roles, so. So what got you interested in art? Um, ever since I was a child, I always loved art. I may have not practiced it regularly, but I mean, I remember as far back when I was a child, just being so fascinated with, you know, the big box of crayons. That was my goal. I wanted the big box of crayons, <laughs> the one with the sharpener. Mm -hmm. And I finally got one when I got older. And I just remember staring at the different colors and, and the smell of it, the smell of the art room at school. All of those things just resonated with me. I love it. And uh, we were talking about these pieces here mm -hmm. that are inspired by music. Yes, yes, some of these are inspired by music. Uh, this one here is called Modern Love, and this one is uh, Major Tom. And um, it was sometime after David Bowie passed, and I just was feeling really sentimental about him, and I love that song, Major Tom, and Modern Love, and so I thought I'd do something kind of fun and psychedelic, you know, in honor of David Bowie. So how do you stay motivated? Um, well, music is one, like you were saying. Nature. I love looking at all the different colors. Um, to me, God is the best artist of all. Uh, he's created things that none of us will ever be able to compare to. But I love finding um, just the nuances of, of um, nature. You know, moss on a tree, the different colors that you find in a rock. Uh, sunsets. We're um, talking about this piece here. Yes, yes. That one is called River of Diversity and I incorporated some red agate and some citrine and so it goes down along the uh, river there and all the different colors to me represented you know different people and cultures and um, so that's kind of a nature theme. And uh, I just, I try to stay inspired also by, I, I look at other people's art and um, just anything could trigger something, you know, a beautiful book, um, someone's print on their clothing, whatever it is, you know, I just try to let it turn into something for me. So what's next for you? Um, I am obviously going to keep doing my art, keep trying to get better at the techniques that I'm doing. And I really want to promote um, creative living. That's why I call it Tina's Art Life. And I want to um, kind of branch out into making other things as well, uh, besides my paintings, but, um, you know, different types of household items, maybe even go into candles, soap, whatnot. Um, and I'd like to possibly have small workshops with a bunch of women that want to explore and just relax and enjoy making something, uh, you know, to, to actually use art as a, um, a tool to, to learn more about yourself. I think art throughout the years has been a self-discovery mode, definitely, for yeah. so many people. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you for your time. Thank you, Dana.